most remote northern desert. The Gabra inhabit the arid lands that stretch northwards from Mount Marsabit to the Ethiopian border, including the inhospitable Dida Galgalo, the plains of darkness. Gabra numbers fewer than 40,000 people and have survived centuries of hardship and drought. Camels are used to transport their portable homes, consisting of a bundle of calf sticks and a few mats across the unrelenting wasteland viewed from the east. All right, here we are. This is, uh, as you can see, Marsabet. We made it. We knelt down. Marsabet Dam. A little bit of uh, history about Marsabet. Marsabet County is among the huge, enormous, vast county. In some area, we can even call it as, as a country. It's a country because 66,923. Miles of the surface of this great nation. This is Kenya. And here we are. This is Marsabet. Just I think a couple of kilometers, uh, six to seven kilometers, we reach the city center of Marsabet County. And from there, we're going to have a little bit of a stopover for lunch break. And we're able to hit the road to uh, Moyale. Moyale. Moyale is the largest. Uh, town as well, but it's under Marsabet County. Here we go. Fantastic. You have something to touch? No, phase one is that. Yeah. We're hitting yeah. the second, oh, this uh, second leg of the trip. Yeah. This is uh, uh, among the second sequence or segment of the trip. Yeah. And here we are. I think that's it. Fantastic. We made it. <laughs> My name is Noor Ismail Nozol, diesel engineer, filmmaker, storyteller. Join me as I share my passion for building trucks and traveling to the remotest part of northeastern Kenya. and remember to hit that notification bell to make sure that you catch up our weekly series of videos. desert. Of Kenya's red north comprise nearly three quarters of the country. The Gabra numbers fewer than 40,000 people and have survived centuries of hardship and drought. Camels are used to transport their portable homes, consisting of a bundle of calf sticks and a few mats across the unrelenting Westland. Viewed from a distance, a caravan of camels, each animal with a forward cut of the sticks protruding above its load. The 
resemble a fleet of sheep sailing in a desert mirage. territory on the shore of Lake Tucano for the discovery by Richard Leakey at Gobi Fora have confirmed that human have been living in this area, this region remote northern desert, the Gabra inhabits the arid lands that stretch northwards from Mount Marsa to the Ethiopian border, including the inhospitable Dida El Gala, the plains of darkness. percent of Kenya received less than 500 millimeters of rain per annum. Operation in this region can exceed 2,600 millimeters. Some areas of this barren zone when fall is often limited to less than 300 millimeters near Lake Tucan. In the north, consists predominantly of scattered acacia and comifora bushes. Fast covering of grass sometimes grows between the bushes, but during period of prolonged drought, grass may be absent for years.
right, here we are. This is, uh, as you can see, Marsabet. We made it, we knelt down. Marsabet does. A little bit of uh, history about Marsabet. Marsabet County is among the huge, enormous, vast county in some area, we can even call it as, as a country. It's a country because 66,923 square miles of the surface of this great nation. This is Kenya. And here we are. This is Marsabet. Just I think a couple of kilometers, uh, six to seven kilometers, will reach the city center of Marsabet County. And from there, we're gonna have a little bit of a stopover for lunch break. And we're able to hit the road to uh, Moyale. Moyale. Moyale is the largest uh, town as well, but it's under Marsabet County. Here we go. Fantastic. You have something to that? No, phase one is done. Yeah. Phase second phase. Phase one is done. So we're we are gonna, hitting, we're hitting yeah, the second, this second leg of the trip. Yeah. This is uh, uh, among the second sequence or segment of the trip. Yeah. And here we are. I think that's it. Fantastic. We made it. series of videos.